Hello everyone, I'm Shelby. And I'm Marcus. And, and we're, we're Krugers, Krugers with the C. C. Today we're going to tell you guys a little bit about our history. We're going to talk about how we met. How we met. Yes, we did. We met. How did we meet? We met through family. Through family. Nisha. Nisha. My cousin. Nisha. My <laughs> My cousin, we met at Nisha Mama Nisha. House. We always tell people that. We met at Nisha Mama House. Mm-hmm. She is my very close cousin. And... I grew up with Nisha. And they grew up in the same town. Mm-hmm. So, she is married to one of his best friends. Keith. So, my cousin called Keith. me. <laughs> my cousin <laughs> called me. And was like, hey, you got to meet so-and-so and this and that. I was like, no, I don't want to meet him because I just got out of a relationship and I ain't want to meet nobody and I ain't want to be in no long distance relationship. Come to find out, he said the same thing to her. Right. But the funny thing with you, I had been hearing about this woman since high school. I had been hearing about you since high school. And then she was like, uh, 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 on and on and on about Shelby, but I never could meet Shelby. And finally, we went went through college bad relationships, chilling. No, just one kid. She got one, I got one. (laughs) Same age. And finally, the opportunity presented itself. So we met. But listen, first, she was acting stank. Because he was showing off. Oh, no. I was being me. Listen, I was being me. I walked in the house. I'm like, no, I'm like, hey, everybody, how you doing? And she's sitting on a uh, on the couch with her legs crossed like she's too pretty to speak. So, <laughs> so I'm like, well, whatever. She speaks, she speaks. She don't, she don't. She ain't got to be like I all that. I spoke to him. It was a stank wave, man. It was like, like she wasn't paying me no attention. Like she didn't see me. Like she didn't see me. I couldn't help me. but see him. He coming all in the house like, hey, look at me. Like, mister, look at me. <laughs> For anybody that know me, that's just how I am. But anyway, fast forward the story. So that's how we didn't talk. No, we didn't talk. It we didn't talk. I came back to, the, you know, where you guys was for a visit. And um, I think it was a funeral or something while yeah, we came. That's why you was there that time. Yeah, it was a yeah, lot of it was funerals. Bad. It was yeah. another funeral while I was up there. But um, we came and we talked and we sat in the car and talked for some hours. Like, like it was like that. But the conversation was so good. And like, that was the first time that I was just like, I, I dropped my guards. And I was like, it don't matter. If she like me, she like me. If she don't, she don't. I'm not going to try to impress nobody. I think we was just thinking the same thing all around. At first, we didn't want to be in another relationship. And then we want to be in a long distance relationship. And then we was like, oh, my God, I like your conversation and this and that. Yeah, she had some good flow, y'all. She was tr- she was laying it on thick. <laughs> <laughs> and what you was doing? I was just, I mean, like, like, <laughs> like this, this, this part right here is like, I'm a man, I'm a man. But that was the first time I was ever able to tell uh, a woman my dreams and, and feel comfortable doing it. So it, it was easy to talk to you. So that was like, dang. I said, it, the first thing I thought in my mind was like, I do a lonely distance relationship with her. That's what I thought, but I never mentioned it. I yeah. never said anything. Same here. But I smiled that whole night. I'm a man. I'm a man. Yeah, I was cheesing, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was. So so we talked for hours. This is how I knew what it was. Because when I, when I got out of the car, I was like, well, can I have a hug? Or, you know, I'll see you later. And then she said, I'm going to give you my nibble. You better, let's see if you use it. I like, she gone. I got her. <laughs> He thought he was a pimp, y'all. Macaroni. Whatever. <laughs> but but that's how we met, and that was the, the beginning of everything. And then I saw you the next day at, at a restaurant, but she didn't see me. So I just stayed back. He was and talking. I, no, I observed. I had just left church. Talking. Whatever. I, I had just left church. I was talking a little bit. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> but I had left church, and I saw her, so I waited a couple days and then I finally gave her a call and it was the same thing. I felt at ease. And I was like, man, we're gonna end up in a relationship. Yeah, because we was friends first. We mm-hmm. agreed that we didn't want to rush anything. We told each other that we just got out of a bad relationship. So we was friends for yeah, a while. Yeah. And then here he come, Mr. Macaroni, Mac Daddy, talking about um he think that we should, you know, start a relationship. That's how I felt. 
You don't let a good thing pass. Because mm-hmm. when you see it, you better get it. Because you'll see somebody else with it. <laughs> and I knew better that I, I, I wasn't going to let that happen. But before I made that decision, I really took a conscious effort. And I thought about it. And I was like, I need to fast. You know, so I told her that I didn't want to talk to her for, what, a week? No conversation for a week. Man, I was counting down, boy. Yeah, and, and we was talking then, like, for a couple months, like, every day, multiple times a day. But I was like, if I'm going to be in this woman's life and her child life, I need to make sure I'm right. And I, I need to make sure that this is what, you know, I, I want to be doing, make sure this is what God has. So I took a week and I fasted. She didn't understand that at first. No, I didn't. See, I needed a clear vision on some things because I didn't know what was going to happen. But when I told you, your uh, perception was different. Yeah, it, I understood. No, you didn't. Not After that, you told me. No, it took a lady at your job telling you. That too, but she, I still understood. She ain't understood. <laughs> hey, look, I'm here now. Uh, you understood after the fact. Yeah, it took me a while. It took a while, but I, I made that decision. And, and once that fast was over, I, I felt clarity about everything. That's when I was like, all right, let's let's do this thing. And then we ended up in a long distance relationship. Plus two whole years. But I think that, that, and we always look back and say, I wish I'd have met you then. I wish I'd have met you then. But it was a process for us. Because I, I think if we wouldn't have had this process, we wouldn't have turned out like, no. like we are. No. You know, so, but that's a whole nother topic. And I think that we're going to even go into that. So we're, n- n- our next topic will be long distance relationships. For those of you guys that's in long distance relationships, and it's kind of hard because long distance relationships are challenging. Yes. They are. So we just want to spread the love and mm-hmm. just, you know, share some things that we did. Yeah. But the process of it, though, I mean, it builds you so much. Mm-hmm. It builds you so much, and, and I, I'm thankful for it. I'm thankful for That's it. So. another foundation. Another foundation. So until the next time, you guys, go on the page, like us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, Kruger with a C. Leave comments below. Please do. I'm Marcus. And I'm Shelby. Talk to y'all later. Bye.